Hello again from Digicore Things. Just a quick video on a recent product I purchased that uh, I'm really happy with, so I thought I'd share it. Um, for quite a few years I've been using uh, just this common Heiko, Heiko 493 fume extractor. Um, they're quite big. You can see uh, it's been doing its job by the um, condition of the filter. But I've had quite a few problems with it. It's um, for, a fair, for a start, it's never really worked um, all that well. Um, you need to have this right above the soldering because the suction on it isn't that great. So to stop the flux fumes from going up your nose, you really need to have this quite close to what you're working on. And that's also a problem uh, if you haven't got a lot of space, or if in my case, I might be using my... Um, magnifier and you can see it gets in the way. I've got to move it to the side and try and get my magnifier where I need it. Um, not ideal. Um, and if I'm doing some uh, fine soldering um, and using my binocular microscope, if I bring swing that around, um, well you can see the problems I'm having to start with. If I swing that around and and bring the um, fume extractor where I need it. Um, I haven't got a lot of leeway in terms of where I can position it with regard to my binocular microscope. So one of the options would be to replace the um, 120mm fan that comes standard in this with a more powerful industrial fan. Um, but then I thought, well, this thing is a bit of a problem for its size for a start. So even if I get a better airflow um, to suck out those fumes, um, I'm still dealing with the, the issues with trying to position it appropriately depending on what I'm using, whether I'm using the microscope or just the magnifier, either one's still an issue. So, what I've done, let's get rid of that. I, got my, I did a lot of research and finally found what looked like it was going to be an ideal solution and I'm happy to say it's performing exactly as uh, reviewed and advertised um, and I'm very happy with it. It's one of these Koto um, these Koto hose based um, vacuum systems. You can see it's got a uh, nice long hose on it so I can basically position that wherever I want. Um, if I put that back out of the way I can position this quite nicely um, to suck up the fumes with the actual fan itself being well out of the way. Now I've also found that the um, power of the fan in this is quite good. I can have it pretty much at 50% setting and there's plenty of suction to suck away all the fumes. If you have a look at the front here you can see there's a control, turn it on through to max. Um, as I say, um, in fact I only need it about a quarter away um, and there's plenty of suction. Now this arrived in just a cardboard box like this and the label on it as you can see just says soldering smoke ABS with strong suction new made in China it was very well packaged see all this uh, packaging foam in there came with a, uh, a good um, let's see 12 volt power adapter rated at 4 amp hours. Um, I won't be using that though because I've got my own bench top 12 volt supply. Um, in addition to that, it came with an instruction manual and a spare filter. Now, if we just have a look inside the unit. Um, a little, uh, little clip on the front that says open from the side. 
I'll pop that open and we can lift that open. You can already see from the uh, filter, I've only been using this for a few days, um, but you can see that it's filtering quite well. Um, and if I pop the filter out, have a look at the other side, nice and black, so filtering appears to be working well. Um, the other thing I'll mention is that um, it came with uh, this cardboard filter holder. So that was just sitting in there um, with the filter in place. I thought, well, that's uh, a little disappointing, this piece of cardboard. But um, before I went and designed a replacement, I went and had a look on Thingiverse, and somebody's already done that before. So um, I managed to just print this little filter holder, which has been very nicely designed with a couple of little tabs to help lifting it out. Um, and that fits in there quite nicely. And you can just drop the filter in on there. Very nice solution. Um, just have another look at the uh, the fan inside. You can see that it's quite a quite a robust. Um, I don't know. Do you call that a centrifugal fan? Um, certainly, plenty of power to provide plenty of um, suction to extract the fumes. Let's put that in place. Right. So we'll just close that up again. Need to cup that down and close the flap and I'll just plug some power in. Yeah, that's right, I didn't show you on the back. It's the, um, the vent where the air comes out and you've got a 12 volt DC uh, center positive jack on the back. Oh, and underneath, just a couple of rubber feet. Right, so let's plug that in. She's already going, just turn her off. I can put the main unit right at the back of my bench to the side. And there's plenty of length here to um, position this hose wherever you need it. And if I turn it on, it's probably about quarter power and I've found that that's actually sufficient for um, sucking up all the fumes from a reasonable distance, maybe you know a couple of inches away from the vacuum. And more importantly, I want to use my magnifier, I can bring that in and get that really close. And no problems. And same with the binocular magnifier. Yeah, so anyway, just a short video just to share how impressed I am with this, um, this little unit. They sell for around $89 US from Amazon, which is where I got mine from. And I think it's a great investment. That's it. Thanks for watching.